welcome back to the channel. We got a full boat today. We're gonna go see if we can't get some uh, some snook, some tarpon, uh, maybe a couple of snapper. The mullet runs in full effect. It's early October. It's a little breezy. It's a beautiful day. Uh, if you're still watching, it means we made a video and we caught some fish. So uh, hopefully we'll see you out there. So being early October, the mullet run's starting to be in full effect. The mullet are showing up here in Southeast Florida, so that's gonna be our prime bait that we're trying to target today. So first things first is we gotta cast net some bait. Here, we threw the cast net, caught some nice live finger mullet. The kids were pretty pumped. Man, we were getting ready to go fishing. After a quick run up the river, we finally got to this spot and the kids were quickly pitching baits up underneath the docks. It didn't take long till we had a few strikes and then Owen got hooked up on a nice jack. Owen did a great job, grabbed the reel, started reeling it in. Unfortunately, you'll see here in a minute that the GoPro stopped recording halfway through, and unfortunately, I didn't get him landing the fish. So, here's a nice picture of Owen. He did a great job getting this fish to the boat. Is there a reel? There you go. Keep going. Keep fighting him. You're fine, Colin. Uh, You're doing a good job, bud. Just let him, when he's running, just let him run. Okay, no need to horse him. You're doing a good job. What do you think it is, Colin? Jack. How big do you think it is? Probably one of those monsters. A canal tuna? Yeah. Or it might be lucky, it might be a salt smoke. That'd be cool. Okay. Don't, don't do that with your line, Colin. You're doing a good job. Move it up. Oh, there he is. I see color. He's right here. Yeah. I'm going to grab the net right there on the seat next to Finn. Here he comes, Colin. Go easy on him. Go easy on him right here, because this, this is, is the hardest part. Yep. Just let him let him kind of circle. Nice and easy, dude. It's a shark. Oh, dude. A Look bull. at this shark. Oh, bull shark. <laughs> you got him. Oh. You got him snagged in the shark. Come on. A little sharky. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Let's get him on the I'm done with it. Fallow shark, dude. Wow, let me fallow the shark. That's you, that's you. There you go. There's another one with it. There's another one with it. Drop your bait in the water. Nice, buddy. Here, bring him back here. Watch out, Don. We're double hooked up. Here, 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 I'm have a rod. I'll just loosen your drag. Yeah. Oh yeah, nice fish. Oh, yeah. All right, all right, you're, loose. you're loose, you're loose. I got you, I got you, you're loose. Alright, hold on. I have to get out, I will. Just don't want him to get broke off yet. Alright, he's wrapped. You see him straight through? 
All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. Here's the power pole clamp. Your pocket's empty? Yeah. I don't know. It, it's probably only like two or three feet right, deep here. Hold the rod for me. Yep, I got you. Can I catch it? Can you touch the bottom? Yeah. Bring it back. He'll bring it back. Is it snow season? Yeah. Just watch those oysters. I don't know if he's gonna be big enough for dinner. Maybe. He's probably like 25, 26. But that's a keeper. No, he's gotta be 28 for a keeper. I know. Or 30. Or, um, or so he might go. Yeah, he might. Um, say 25. Yeah, I'm gonna say 27. Can I, can I touch him? Yep. I didn't put on my boat. It might be a keeper. Yeah. Oh, yeah, actually, he's bigger than I thought. He's bigger than he looked out there. Thanks. Well, I think he might go there, buddy. 29, yeah, baby. Yeah. Uh, first keeper of the season. Go on. Thanks. All right, we're back at the dock. We were lucky enough to get a nice slot snook that Sean caught and wrestled out of the mangroves and through the docks and sacrificed his foot. So I think he measured, what are you going to show, about 29 inches? So we got a nice little 29 inch fish, so we're going to knock the sides off this guy and take him home for dinner. We've got a brand new Sharp Dango knife. Not a sponsor yet. <laughs> Right down the backbone, right through. Um. Once you get over that backbone, you kind of angle your knife down the rest of that meat. Rib cage. One. You can see the difference of, uh, well you can't really see the difference, but we, we did bleed this fish out so you can see that the meat's nice and white. I can see it. Just stand back here. Oh, come come right back, yeah. Close to this knife, all right, buddy? Oh, I cut the fingers accidentally. I can't see. You see, boy. You see your dinner. The knife looks like it cuts well. Yeah, it's a nice knife. Not bad for 20 bucks. Yeah, I was gonna say. It's no deer meat, but... Whatever, dude. Keep it sharp, I'm sure it'll cut fine. This is the first snook I've filleted in a while. First one of the season. Good. I think, I think I might save this guy for the uh, for the crab trap. Yeah, man. No, I'm gonna eat it. What are you gonna use it for, Owen? And then last thing we do, I like to just kind of get a little decision right there. Get a little bit of meat on the end, I can hold it on. Angle that knife down. Right down the back of the skin like this. Not bad. Meat for dinner. There you go. 